G'day mates, this is just a quick little opener to let you know that I am currently, or about to go to, Europe for PDXCon. I recommend you join the Discord down below, which means that you can get, uh, that's where I post all the updates, the pictures, videos, any IRL streams I'll be doing from uh, London or Sweden. And what this also means is that whilst I will be reading your comments while I'm away, all of this is pre-recorded, and as such, if you comment something, I cannot change it until I get back. Alright, enjoy the video. Nearly two decades after the Veldkrieg, Australasia still hasn't healed. Unbelievable, catastrophic manpower losses and sacrifices in the Veldkrieg, all for naught, have led to an atmosphere of cynicism and hopelessness as the once great British Empire crumbled into pieces. Rome, thanks for following. The economy is a complete dumpster fire, a natural consequence of the fall of the United Kingdom and the ensuring loss of the exports that followed. Danny, also thanks for following. The shadow of the cynicalist Melbourne Commune. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck off. I live in Melbourne. Uh, still haunts the continent, but there are plenty who still haven't forgotten the Empire and are ready to reclaim its birthright. Oh my god. Okay, so victory for the syndicalists. Oh my god. Death, thank you for the sub, man. Cheers, Golden. Alright. Um, enact the Anderson Doctrine. Uh, reclamation of British territories. Okay, and then there's victory for the guard. They face many uh, things will not ban in our traditions and our history for the sake of flashy revolution. This is fucking great! Oh, I still love this song and I humbly thank you for introducing me to it. No worries, man! Well, what do you tell him? It's a goddamn Cindy. I'm not a damn Cindy, alright? You dicks. I'm one of the ones who are going with the Anderson Doctrine, alright? We're reclaiming the British territory. And an old rocking chair. Alright. So here's my favorite part about it. Spiderweb is following. We have an oversized fleet because most of British, uh, many ships fled to Australasia to find refuge. So now I've just got a bunch of fucking ships. Um, we're got in economic depression, of course we are, and we are bled dry. That's a lot of a uh, lot of manpower away. Operator beast, cheers, following. Let's get into this, lads. What's the problem with a fuck ton of ships? Probably like keeping them intact. Besto, thanks for following, man. Thank you, Kaiserak team. Inform me only about major events. Fuck off, DLC. Alright. Okay. Wow, okay. So we've got a democratic... Oh, I assume it's the Australian fascist movement, probably. Zeno is... is oh, wait. Zeno is a spy. Thanks for following, man. Uh, subscribing. Jesus, why do I always do this? Why do I always do this? And Whoopi, thanks for 1,500 bits. Go North Korea. I mean, North Korea isn't around yet, but they do generally break free. So, you know. One day. One day, papa. Maintenance, yeah, probably. I mean, like, we have a stupid big fleet for the Aussie. Look at this shit, right? Look at this! You've got a carrier, you've got, what, two battleships, two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, five light, 22 destroyers. Like, I'm pretty sure Australia starts with, like, one cruiser and six destroyers and a handful of submarines. Remember to get your Ross Rifles? Do they even have Ross Rifles in this version? Like, uh, if I would just go ask the Canadians? Uh, fuck me sideways, they do. There we go. All right. When you live in Canada, you can't tell when an Australian streaming. Actually, shit. That's a good point. Actually, no, it's not too it's not too bright out. I can leave this window open for now. Paula Manson. Like, Mason, sorry. Thanks for following. It is just like... We are so close on the verge of downpour outside. It's like, grey skies, very windy. I'm waiting for just that thunder crack. Zappin' man, thanks for following. <laughs> okay. Ross Rifle Mark III, not just the Ross Rifle. Oh shit, we got the Maori Act. Oh, of course we do, because we own New Zealand, right. Holy shit, there we go. <laughs> Does it work now? Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you for the 5,000 bits, man. Oh, God. Yes, it does indeed work now. Okay, so let's have a look at this, right? We either go down the uh, the whole question of the unions, all right? So you go down Democratic Australasia. Wow, there's like four trees. Five? Okay, four trees. Four queen and country. <laughs> Whatever they say, guys, all right. Thanks, Foggle Mode. Exile Reaper, cheers for four months. Lots of countries. Right. What are we gonna do? So, well, we get to like reaffirm the Aust the Entente Alliance. Go with the guard. Look, I'm look I'm looking at this. Right, we create the secret police. <laughs> Cheers, man. Um, new unrest, royal advisors, reforms, new plan, the future of else. Okay, where's like the Anderson Doctrine? I assume this is the Anderson Doctrine, right? This is the one where we go down like the whole. New social reforms end white Australasia? Not a terrible idea. Wait, why do like the fascists end white Australasia, but the socialists also do? But the de- Wow, the Democrats and the British do not end white Australia. That's a little bit fucked. 
for those of you who don't know, white Australia is basically us trying to turn all the natives white. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. That was the, uh, the Aboriginal Act, sorry. The white Australia was banning anyone but white Australians coming to the country. So we were, like, we were locking down the Chinese coming. Sorry. I'm getting confused between one racist policy and the other racist policy. Ah, oh, God. Agliophilus, thanks for following, man. Pouring rain, so not freezing rain for two days straight. Ah, you can deal with it. Anyway, yeah, here we go. So it's the, it was the Act of 1901, which basically made it difficult to any non-Europeans to come to the country. Tried all World Blues plus uh, battery. I haven't actually tried that, no. Guns and Cheers for following. So, let's just figure out who should go down. Army reform takes six months, after which the malice will be reformed in place with a bonus. Okay. That gets rid of Thomas Blamey, though. I'm just trying to figure out, like, which way we want to go down, right? Because I don't think the cynical... We don't want to go cynic this, right? Joke of the week. Cheers, mate. Good day, Nestle. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, we could go down... New Constitution, like, I just don't see anything... Maybe it's all down here. State of the RAN, overhaul the RAN. I like this. You can either upgrade the reserves, so you can upgrade the, uh, the mothball fleet. Or, you can scrap the reserves, and then you can get a, uh, a smaller navy, but it works a little bit faster and better. Maybe... Clarify Anzac. Focus on jungle combat. Nice. All legged units. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? David Ike official. We're deploying the spiders now. They're legged units. Oh, God. Stray rules the waves. Did you say make all the natives white? How they manage that? Fucking them. Just leave things the following. We used to take them from their families, and then we used to fuck the ones that were left. Ah, oh, here's the Anderson Doctrine. Okay, so we actually choose we choose government completely independent. John Smith UK, here's the follow. So, we have the choice here. Either we go Democratic Australasia, which gives us freedom of the press, call for unity, trade... Yeah, I mean, it's got the Maori Act, which isn't terrible. Uh, I kind of like the idea of going down that. Okay. <laughs> All legged units. Uh, or we have the AFM, who are... Apparently, hang on, these guys aren't actually... Okay, these are paternal autocrats, but they're weirdly nice. I thought paternal autocrats were kind of cunts. Um, look. What are paternal autocrats in this game? She leader, thanks for following. Because you look at this, right? They say, The people have spoken. Now is the time for Australasia to turn its back on the histori uh, history of colonial oversight and cruelty. No longer will we fight wars in distant land that shred Australasian blood to no good purpose. Our destiny is our own and we will not waste this opportunity. Best President FDR, thanks for following. Hey, cheers, Gripper, with 40 bits. Man, Jacob, how you doing? I'm doing good. But, yeah, what is... What is Paternal Autocrats in Kaiserreich again? Because... Okay, that does actually pop up. Because this seems weirdly nice for someone called a Paternal Autocrat. Um... I guess... I guess it's just... A Republic? Probably? Still got subtitles on your playlist? I mean, I do, but, uh, it's... It is copyright, which is why I don't generally play it. I mean, I have the DLC, I just can't use it. Um... They're fascist dictatorships that aren't Nazis. I guess, I guess, yeah, they're just dictators. I guess you get a really nice dictator if you go down the AMF. All right, sure. <laughs> or we go victory for the guard. Foreign powers that would see us ground down. Syndicalists who lie to our workers and would see our nation plunged into chaos. We will not abandon our traditions and our history for the sake of flashy revolution. Order must be maintained for the sake of all Australasians. And we'll see our nation shine like never before. Like military unters. All right, Pharaoh. So this one we go down, we make the secret police, we restore grand, uh, sorry, the, the Australian, Australian Guard restores order. Uh, new plan for Australasia. We remove Bled Dry. Oh, fuck, that's huge, actually. If the home islands are to be secure. Wait, this one is basically saying, go take back Britain. That's amazing. Um, a rising power to serve the empire. Okay. Rouse the masses. This is good. This is like political. This is like manpower at the ass. Okay. Um, these ones you get a bit. I get a nice bit of manpower here. Question is, is there any way to get rid of? Gets it gets Fortress Australia. Holy shit. Gives encryption plus one hundred percent. Holy shit. We can then ally with Japan. Um. See, so here's the problem. Right this way. Annex all the Pacific. I mean, we intend to. But if we go down the AMF, we don't get our, um... We get army reforms. We get a better army, but we don't get the numbers. So, okay, from, from like, damn, she's falling. Just, like, generally, like, generally overlooking at everything, okay? Um, let me just quick check over here. Demand Singapore. Okay, that's all cool. 
Uh, begin the conscription plebiscite. Oh no, okay, so no matter what, we can get rid of Bled Dry. It's just quicker if we go with the other guys. Okay, alright, alright. And we have to be at war, right. <laughs> Did you nick the Tyvex from the Brits? Probably. Um, so basically the choice is we have more manpower if we go down this route, right? And we, uh, we also get more, like, units, free units. We get, uh, closer ties to the Entente, right? Uh... Generally, pretty nice stuff, all right? The, the victory for the guard is a good choice. We're not going the fucking Cindy's. Fuck the Cindy's, all right? Then we've got the AFM, who, um... Okay, they get rid of the Entente, so we can move out of the Entente. But we also get a, uh, a little bit extra sort of... Okay we, okay, we get army reforms, so we get a better army. Um, King Jong, boom. Thanks for following. Uh, we get new social reforms, so we get more political power, more manpower... Will we, like, this is pretty good. It's more of a sort of self-upgrading tree rather than uh, an allies tree. Luke Star, cheers for following. Don't go syndicalist. New Zealand breaks free and joins the allies. Really? Fuck, we're not doing that then. Or democratic, which, to be frank, like, I, I'm interested to do this another time. Uh, these these trees are really good. Like, Frostberg, cheers for following. Um, like, I would be, I would happily play this again. So I think we might even play another round if we have time. But uh, we're tossing up between the AMF and the guard. All right, I'm going to need everyone. Type guard or AMF in chat. Wall we'll Siege, thanks for following. We need to know whether we're going with the guard or the AMF. We are not going syndicalist. Fuck off. We are not going syndicalist. Guard or AMF? Oh my god. Okay, I think the guard is winning though. There's a lot of AMFs, but the guard is. Yeah, I'm seeing like two, three guards for every one AMF. For King and Country! Then so it shall be that Australia shall forever remember its great homeland, Britain, and in God's good time shall the new world come to the liberation of the old. That's Winston Ch Churchill fucking paraphrased. All right, let's uh, start equipping this shit. Let's immediately start with our economy, because, oh boy, we're going to need that shit up. Oh, man, Australia. I fucking missed playing Australia. It's so good. Oh, yeah. We're gonna take the home. We're gonna take the uh, the guard islands. So the, the guard islands, the home islands. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Let's get started. On, actually, let's just start with flat industry. Beautiful. Let's go get Britain. Oh, we're going. Don't worry. We're going. We're gonna go fucking get Britain. All right. How are we doing navy wise? Not really building much. So let's make sure we keep our, our navy upgraded. Okay, we don't have manpower. That's a fucking problem. <laughs> Shit. We have a massive navy, but no men to actually like make any new ships. Shit. Don't even think you take Asia from me. What the fuck? <laughs> Kim Jong, are you okay, dude? I'm reading that was like having a stroke, man. Subs only? Dude, I don't even think I have enough for subs only. Because subs subs burn through uh, manpower pretty well, uh, pretty good as well. Tin uh, McLean, thanks for uh, following, man. That's 200 manpower per sub. I have 130 dudes right now. That's it. So, yeah. Why do I, um... I've only got 1.2%. Oh, because of course 20% down. The prisoners come back to the home islands and kick the Cindy cunts in the teeth. Oh, fuck yeah. That's what we're doing. I do just feel that, like, all legged as soldiers was very... It was a very good way of describing something that you didn't need to describe. Like, ah, yes, all of us who don't have poison in our drinks should drink right now. Yep, that's all of us. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello, blamey. Uh, what's he got? He's a war hero? Nice. Um, organizer, thorough planner. Dude, blame he's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, how the turns have tabled. The sun never sets on the Australasian Empire. Thank you, Spinfire. You're goddamn right. Give me a home among the gum trees. Guys may give you a civil war. Ah, you'll be right. Around the front and an old rocking chair. I think we're going to go with Bernard Freiburg. Alright, you're going to be our boy. You're my man. Joku Bananas, thanks for following. Everything is also a spider. Uh, everything is also a poison. Nice. What if you're a dictator and never know if your drink is poisoned? I mean, they're just never going to drink, are they? Mountain Drew. <laughs> Mountain Drew, thanks for following. Oh, boy. Alright, let's get all our guys into Infra Division 2s. Yeah, that'll work. Average Pegasus, thanks for the sub, man. Frey, kill the traitors. 
the flays are out of bed in the Red Wedding. Why is this like, this is a little bit too aggressive for Walter Frey. I'm trying to remember how to do his voice. It was like, just very shit, basically. Sonny, don't look. <laughs> Cheers to follow man. Use emus. Look, I'll try, all right? Here, we've got bicycle divisions. They'll fucking do. Police crackdown. Lovely. Gehimel Sokoski. Thanks for following. Question. In Kaiserreich, do the Japanese still get their bicycle divisions? You know what? I don't think they do. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. You know, I thought they might actually get their fucking bicycle divisions. They don't. I don't think they do. The human tsunami. Holy shit. Emperor's Call. Holy fuck, they can just get a lot of manpower. What's the sub song? The sub song is Home Among the Gum Trees, Jesse Block Remix. Alright, Anzac Spirit. During the Weltkrieg, the Australians and New Zealanders were most aggressive and managed to keep their form in spite of their questionable discipline. <laughs> discipline. <laughs> fuck! Discipline! <laughs> oh my god, my mouth stopped working! Just satanic tic tac, thanks for working. Discipline! Jesus, that was hard. Anyway. Um. Once out of line, they were undoubtedly difficult to handle, but once in it, they loved to fight. They were a curious mix of toughness and sentimentality. Hey, lads. Nice. Can speak good. Disciplism. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm very disciplined. Please, please don't judge me. I'm, I'm a very disciplined soldier. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Jesus, we got a lot of fucking, uh, what's, our, what's our air wings look like? Hydrate Cindy's. <laughs> Hydrate the Cindy's is what I deserve. Uh, let's uh, let's get rid of the bombers and we'll just keep close air support. Actually, no, we'll, we'll switch out close air support for the bombers because we're going to be dealing with longer distances. So there you go. That's what we'll uh, that's what we'll run. Beautiful. Bryce, cheers to the host. I said, do you speak my language? Wait, the Belgians get the bikes? Really? He just smiled and gave me a bunch of my sandwich. No way, where, 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 where? Territorial, I swear to god, if you're fucking with me here. I'm not saying it. Resist and bite, nice. Glitch mix, thanks for following. So do the Dutch. This guy gets just the host. Um, I'm trying to see it. Oh, distribute bicycles, oh my fucking god, it works. Language. He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Distribute bicycles. Every man a bike. Every bicycle a man. All right, beautiful. Let's get our guys uh, training up. No reason to worry just yet. Let's uh, get some time ticking on. We'll actually start playing the fucking game. Obviously. Oh shit. The status of the Confederation. Formed in 1924 as a result of the Con uh, Consolidation of Resources Act, the Australasian Confederation was a combination of the British Australasian Domi Dominions, Australia, and New Zealand, as well as the territory of the British New Guinea and Fiji. The years since the Weltkrieg, the Weltkrieg rather, have brought great change and hardship. The war itself has strained both society and the no uh, economy, which Australia has manifested itself as the short-lived Melbourne Commune. Although disowned by the then ruling Labour government and put down by the demobilised Australian, uh, Australian Imperial veterans, this resulted in the implementation of the emergency protocols, suspension of the elections, and the appointment of William Birdwood as General Governor. Uh, Governor General, rather, other way round. Then the British Revolution of 1925 uh, shook the Empire to the core, and Australasia was unable to prevent the loss of the territories to the Germans. More than ten years on, the situation is still unstable as the economy remains stagnant and uh, uh, domestic dissent continues to grow with Birdwood, along his, uh, alongside his ally Billy Hughes' Nationalist Party, barely holding things together. Thank you for the 100-bits equal one. And the 10-bits equal one. Advance Australia. Wait, why am I trying to sing this? It's um, God. Advance Australasia fair. That's a lot, a lot harder to sing. <laughs> it's just like an extra few syllables in there. Advance Australasia and New Zealand and the surrounding territories fair. That's our uh, national anthem. By the way, our national anthem has Rule Britannia in it. That's something I only discovered the other day. Eagle dog cakes for the more bits. Hiya, puppy Rumi. God, I saw the video of you literally talking about Milo in your stream. Oh, that was that was ages back, dude. That was way that was when I was I would think I was drunk doing the the fucking pony stream. Click Robert, Deus Vault the Holy Land. Thank you for following, lads. Anyone? Australasia fair. Hey, hey, Aphanix. Hey, gotta remember, mate. Not only you can speak faster. Speaking faster isn't the point. I gotta speak clear because I'm trying to speak. For, uh, what do you call it? For people to listen to. Anyone can speak fast, 
You wouldn't want a rapper to do a stream, because then you can sit there and go like, I'm sorry, I missed everything you just said, right? Speaking well, I've just woken up. I was up like 30 minutes ago, so fuck you. <laughs> anyway, sing the national anthem of Australia. So the thing is, the, the version we don't sing, sorry, uh, the version that we sing doesn't have Rule Britannia in it, but the actual version does, like the actual version of, uh, of our national anthem has Rule Britannia inside of it. It's pretty great. Hang on. I'll pull it up in a moment. I'm running pizza slice. Just follow him. We'll start taking on time. Low popularity. Shit. Here we go. Fucking birdwood. Look at this twat. Even looks like a bird. Dick. Okay, so what are the AMF? Okay, they're paternal autocrats. Percy Stephenson. Right. Elections in the Antipodes were suspended by the Emergency Protocols, enacted in 1923, which also led to the dissolving of the autonomy of the separate New Zealand Parliament. However, elections are now set for March this year after Stanley Bruce... <laughs> of course his name was Stanley Bruce. <laughs> oh, g'day Knuckles, it's going good, man. Ah, after Stanley Bruce successfully campaigned for their reintroduction, Governor General Birdwood was forced to make this concession when Bruce defeated Hughes for the leadership, that's another Aussie name, Hughes, for the, of the Nationalist Party. Bruce's decision not to act as the unelected Prime Minister resulted in the expulsion of his faction from the Nationalist Party and Hughes' recall as PM. However, the public would not accept the government regaining on its commitments to Australasia, as it can ill afford a repeat of 1923, as the spectre of Melbourne remains a fresh memory in the minds of many. Mm. We have to give way to change. Alright, where are they? Give me the choice. Need to take Iowa Jima? Look, to start with, I gotta start fucking taking the old British territories. Australasia Day! Oh shit, it is too! It isn't though. <laughs> that's, not Austra that's not Australia Day, this is just the- Oh, it's Confederation Day, right. <laughs> Today, the nation is celebrating the Confederation of Australasia. That confederation was not voluntary. Death is the host. Uh, having been initially formed by the British Invocation of the Conversation of R uh, Resources Act in 1924, it has still brought many benefits to both Australia and New Zealand, all such as the common belief. Crowds are lining the city streets from one side of the country to another in order to celebrate the occasion. Advance Australasia Fair! There we go, beautiful. Uh, that must have cost a lot. Why didn't they just throw them on Ireland? I mean, that's the thing is that Ireland was too close. That's why they were moving so many Irish people here. There's a lot of Irish people here. That's what Ned Kelly was. He was a fucking uh, Irish lad. Oh no! Oh no! There's so many fucking events! Barack Obama Alama? Thanks for following. Alright, the ouster king of Britain, George V, has finally succumbed to illness that has plagued him since the revolution swept through the home isles. His son, Edward, has ascended the throne of the British Empire, including that of the Australasian Dominions. While many in Australasia mourn, there are many others for whom the king death King's death has resurrected memories of the Weltkrieg, and the disaster of Gallipoli in particular. Mmm, never another Gallipoli! And they have taken to the streets to demand a separation of the nation from the British Crown as well as the Entente Alliance. Nice, okay. Oh, fuck, no, the Cindy's got some boot boosts. God damn it. The state of Victoria has been hit by heavy bushfires in the northeast and southwest. That happens a lot. Uh, because of the intense heat and drought over the last few years, much of rural Victoria has dried up, leaving plenty of fuel for the flames. The fires at this point are so incredibly intense the ash and smoke can be seen from New Zealand. Hmm, that I call bullshit on. Like, our country... Yeah, no. No, I think... That is that is some unscientific bullshit, I believe. I There is just... Derpa King, thanks for falling. I think there is far, far too much difference. Like, those fires would literally have to be, like, in the, like, fucking upper atmosphere to notice it from New Zealand. I'm, like, pretty certain that this is some grade A bullshit. Yeah, okay. Anyway. God, could you do a multiplayer stream soon? I mean, yeah, I want to catch up with uh, more things. You know actually enemies? Guess my nationality? You're a fucking Kiwi, aren't you? No, you're not. Uh, are you Japanese? Take a wild guess. If you don't speak native English. Or are you Chinese? But that wouldn't make us natural enemies, would it? Ah, oh, hello Jimmy, I'm new to your channel. Alright there, Bob. How you doing? Anyway. Firefighters with the aid of, uh... With the aid of state government, are trying to combat the disaster with the flames already threatening several major cities and causing considerable panic. Yeah, that happens pretty often. Yeah, it, it was huge, but it certainly wasn't seen in New Zealand. Oh, you're Turkish. Oh, right. Yeah, Gallipoli. Now we cool. We cool, man. We cool. Uh, invitation to the Imperial Congress. Oh, there we go. Bushfire is finally over. 
The fires in Victoria have finally been extinguished thanks to the efforts of local firefighters as well as the overdue dense rainfall. This victory has come at the cost of 71 lives. Wow, that's... that's really not that bad. Like, the last fires we had were a lot more deaths than 71. Like, we've had hundreds and hundreds of people die. Uh, over a thousand homes destroyed, the burning of almost 135 hect hectares of land. Current Judge Le uh, Lennon Stretton has been selected to lead a Royal Commission to what caused the disastrous fires, though many suspect farmers or graziers in rural areas to be responsible for their long-standing uh, practice of burning brush to clear new land. Alright. Canada has invited us to the Imperial Conference of 1936 to discuss matters relating to the matters of the British Empire. It would not do if we did not have a voice at this conference. Let us go to Ottawa. Do you like Winston Churchill or not? He's a great war hero. Yeah, probably one of the better ones. The goal of the Empire. The Prime Minister of Canada gave a rousing speech retaking Great Britain from the so-called Union of Britain. The British Empire cannot be called Britain, uh, British without liberating our fellow Britons, be they English, Welsh, or Scottish. Not Irish. <laughs> from the horrors and tyranny that exist in the Union of Britain. Great Britain will be liberated in three and free. Three cheers for the Empire! <laughs> Huzzah! The Indian Empire. The delegate from Delhi just stood up and delivered a stirring speech about how we must aid them in liberating the rest of India from the chains of anarchists and traitorous princes that broke up the crown jewel of the empire. The delegate also spoke for some time on the trade benefits in Entente if India was united, and how it would play a key role in retaking Great Britain from the traitors. For India and the empire! Here we go. Investments in the, in the empire. The delegate from the West Indies Federation spoke about the need for the strong in, uh, in investing in various dominions, stressing that the British dominions need a strong economy in order to retake the uh, Great Britain from the anarchist uh, traitors that co took control of the country. The Empire needs investments! What is what is all this? I just keep getting political power. <laughs> Hydrate, Cindy's. Profits from the legation cities. Hello. Following 1926 German intervention in China and the Treaty of Nanjing signed in November of that year, foreign trade was left to the richest cities on the coast under the joint control of world powers owning interests in China. The independence of these consortium of cities were guaranteed by eight powers. Australasia, Austria, since the following, Canada, Germany, Japan, the French Republic, Russia, and the USA. Foreign investments and the legation cities themselves flourished not only through foreign trade, but also thanks to smuggling into our Algost, Assen, and Qing Im Imperial territories. Over a decade later, our investments in the legation cities are still paying us dividends. Ah, yeah. Anyway. Alright. Jesus, sorry, I'm just trying to keep it trapped. They'll also read this. Just fucking Christ! The Empire's research. On the final day, our delegate from Australasia stands up and speaks on the need for scientific investment. The economy needs more modern science in order to keep up the pace and not stagnate, while the military needs the most modern weapons to take back India and the home islands. Research investment for the Empire. Huzzah! Could you stop reading Jesus Christ? Nope! That was the fucking... Oh my god, there's more reading. The Imperial Conference of 1936 is now over. With it over, we can now focus on working and putting into practice the decisions that came about at the, at the conference. There is hope that perhaps the conference marked a new dawn, a dawn of a new era for the Dominions and a strengthening of bonds. But only time will tell. God save the King. Liverpool, thanks for following. Right. Whew. Whew. Fuck, Black Monday. Well, that'll be fun. Oh shit, we can just go join them? Oh wait, with the Emirate of Afghanistan. Uh, sure, let's go. Boys, we got somewhere to go fight. Toilet paper, thanks for following. Guys, we're gonna go fight in Afghanistan. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> hey! Here we go. Off on, man. Thanks for following. The Fifth, uh, fifth Anglo-Afghani War. Lovely. Downfall and stability. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not very good. Jäger Deutschland. Thanks for following. Uh, thanks for the sub, man. Alright, what are we going to start with? I guess we want to go straight to partial mobilization, don't we? Pretty much, yeah. That's probably the best choice. Although manpower wouldn't be a bad choice either. Can we actually go to limited conscription yet? No, I can't enact conscription laws. Shit. Alright, well, mobilization it is. Cryptos, thanks for following, man. Here we go. Oh my god! Resist New Zealand to get their big bobs. I mean, I kind of want those. But anyway, do you know which political path to go down? Yes, we're going down the, uh, the victory for the guard path. We're going to do the other ones at some point. Australasia looks really good fun. Remember Bosnia? Of course I remember Bosnia. <laughs> you there. I am. Afghanistan would be Australian. Not acceptable switch the name of your army. What is it? Oh shit. I just realized it's not called anything right now. Oh shit. Anyway. Six is shit. FPS Liverpool. Thanks for the sub, man. Alright, uh, so we're going to call this the uh, the land down under. Lovely. I'm going to call these boys uh, Advance Austr Australasia. 
you know what, that's just gonna be, that's what they're gonna be called. And these boys are gonna be called the Legged Troops. Perfect. Check kind of has lost rivals, they do. Blair Bar Barbecue, thank you for following, man. Today, the Australasian Labour Party convened a special session in Sydney where the former Premier of New South Wales, Jack Lang, was readmitted to the party after being having after having been excluded for five years. He originally left and formed his own due to disagreements to leadership. Uh, after disagreement to the uh, he was sorry after his dismissal from government by the contemporary governor of New South Wales, uh, Philip Game fell out of popularity and sought to rejoin the party. A powerful orator and a populist through and through, the readmitted to Lang has caused cons uh, consultation. I assume that's like agreement. Yeah. Uh, among more leftist members of the Labour Party, uh, among whom the major, uh, majority are trade union ac uh, activists, seeing him as more social feudalist, inher inherently hostile to true socialist doctrine. Wait, so that's actually not. That's not good. God. One of my friends is called Jack Lang. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really feel very Australian, does it? <laughs> you too, mate. Thanks for following, man. Just like after all the Hughes and Bruces. Um, alright. It seems the Australian Labour Party is breaking into a turbulent time given the immediate, uh, imminent election. Alright. Using the uh, Canada Plus mod, you can conscript Wildman and Tank Divisions are called Maple, Sip Divi uh, Maple, Maple Syrup Divisions. Well, that's somewhat interesting. Constantation? Uh, ah, that bug's still there! Ah, why is that bug still in this game? Yeah, this, uh, this is a fun bug that's in Kaiser right now. Um, <laughs> this happens all the fucking time. Did we sign a white piece? Yeah, we did, okay. Every treaty is now like 20 plus treaties. It's pretty great. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And for some reason, they all play slightly like apart. So that may sound like one sound effect, but that's actually like 10 sound effects overlaid over each other. So it's really fucking loud. Kevin Seabert, thanks for following. God. Alright. Well, I guess we're not fighting in the Dominion then. It annoys me how this war never actually amounts to anything. Like, come on. Fucking fight, you lazy cunts. Can we not just just kick their teeth in? Look at this guy, he's got a lazy eye. Kick his teeth in. Oh! Oh! Look who it is! He's back! That's the mobster boy! He's got the hat! Hello! <laughs> Bit fight! Thank you, Chris. Thank you for 550 bits, man. Alright. Originally formed in 1925. Oh boy, the Australasian Guard is a staunchly nationalist and jingoist movement, which traces its roots back to the paramilitary organization of the League of National Security. Ah, yes. Uh, returning from the Veltkrieg, which helped, uh, who helped put down the 1923 Melbourne Commune. In the years following the Melbourne Uprising, the Guard continued to support the government, while many supporters joined the expanded security forces available to the Governor General and assisted in suppressing left wing activities. Hugh Xims is following. Um, the coming return to democratic rule has caused an upset among the far right, however, who fear the reemergence of the long-suppressed labor movement and the Nationalist Party, divided as it is, will be unable to maintain the status quo. Due to these factors, the Guards leader, Eric fucking Campbell, has decided that it will take part in the elections as the center party. Despite their not inconsiderable levels of popular support, as president, it's still unsure what impact they will have. This boy is the best. This is, uh, this is the best boy. Who did I just miss there? Uh, no one. Good, 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 good. Right. I like how it's basically like Democrats, or syndicalists, or one type of fascists, or the other type of fascists. It's the fascists who don't like Britain, or the fascists who fucking love Britain. All right. Jabo Shama. Oh. <coughs> Tonight in the Thunderdome. Thunderdome. We have. What, fuck off. We have Jabo Shama and Nudge. Two Amirs enter! One Amir leaves! Who will it be? Watch tonight! On the Super Bowl. Anyway, uh, that's, I fucking love this. I gotta go play these guys at some point. It's just like a Super Bowl in the, in the Arabian Desert. <laughs> Makalitits, thank you for the follow. I had no idea how to say your name, dude. My name is XD. Thanks for following. And well, such turtle cheers for following as well. God. Australia holds God. <laughs> Javal Shamar forever. I'm more of a uh, of a nudge guy myself. All right, the first free elections in over a decade, which many are calling Bruce's election. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> 
The first free elections in over a decade, which many are calling Bruce's elections, are set to return a majority for the United Australasian Party. However, Labour and the country parties are campaigning vigorously, while the Nationalists struggle to regain their core vote with the left voting a uh, UAP and the right declaring for the Guard Centre Party. Many are, at least, grateful that Campbell's, uh, Campbell's Centre Party seemingly has no chance of actually winning, though it seems like they'll make a good showing. <laughs> Bruce's elections! Fuck yeah! Oh god, John Curtin and the Australasian Labour Party. Nope, not happening. Um, Stanley Bruce? But, oh god! Hang on, which one do we gotta go? Uh, FIBA Gaming turned back the votes! <laughs> I mean, look, this is this is what might be happening here. So, okay, hang on, which one we gotta go for? Earl Page and the Country Party is a, uh, they're commies, aren't they? Yeah, we want to go, we want to go the United Australasia Party, don't we? Um, campaigning vigorously. What is the country party? The country party are, they're the Democrats, I think. So Democrats are country party. Labour Union is the syndicalist. And I assume United Australasia will split down the guard and the MF, right? You know, you go, oh, guard coups later, no matter what. I see, all right. Spoiled milk, thanks for following, man. God, I'm sick but not sick enough to stream. Dude, that's fine, man. I hope you feel better. Stanley Bruce. Alright, let's get Stanley Bruce in. Oh, God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we actually get to see who Stanley Bruce is. Yes. Stanley Bruce and the United Australasian Party. Here we go, boys. Oh, wait for, wait for Birdwood to fuck off. What? 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 What the fuck? What the? What happened to? What? What happened to fucking? AMF is only in 1939. What? Really? Wait, can I not go? Wait, why, why have I still got Birdwood? What the fuck's happened? The Australasian Guard has emerged from the election far stronger than it went into. Eric Campbell's centre party, while failing to take the many parliamentary seats, did manage to secure a large percentage of the popular vote, mostly at the expense of the Nationalists. Despite this, the clear lack of a coherent strategy as well as a hostile media response were clear hindrances for them. Okay. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Why do we not have... Why is it still Birdwood? What the fuck happened to Bruce? Okay, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go back slightly. We'll reload and then, we'll, like, we'll save just so we have a save in case things go wrong again. But, uh, we might just have to, uh, the communist and Kaiser, uh, is we going to be popping up. Again, is this? Okay, right. This can't be good. Right, we save here. Birdwood is the monarch, but he's almost always the leader. But yeah, but Stanley Bruce should be leading this thing. Come on. Come on, then. What's this, what's this happening? All right, tick on time. We'll see what happens. Think there's more to the guard tree? I mean, I hope so. I hope I can go down the guard trees. I hope I don't have the choice of just Cindy's or, um, I mean, like, what if I go country party? But, oh, Stanley Bruce becomes one of the head of governments. Ah, right. Gotcha. Damn it. So we still get Bird Birdwood. So how, how do we, how do we get these guys in charge? How do we get our, uh, Hover over the guard. Hang on. The 1939 elections. Okay, so wait. Wait, hang on. We get to go down two, um, like, political trees, really? That's kind of cool, actually. So you go down this political tree, and then you go down this political tree, yeah? Is that how it works? Huh. They can also appear in a civil war against the Cindy's. Not too bad. I don't know if I want to go for civil war, though. All right, look, let's let's go down the United Australasia. We'll get Stanley Bruce in. All right, um, here we go. Stanley Bruce is in here. Oh, there he is. I'm kind of sad he's not blown up, but there's Stanley Bruce. He's a corporate suit. Oh, what the fuck is this? TGC, thanks for following. London's on the far right. What? Scammed by the people. Looks like the frosty with an omen. Look, look. We'll recover. Don't worry. Democratic Australia. Oh shit! Hang on. Um, yep. Clear hindrances. Average, uh, thing. Lovely. Right. So, I assume now we can just go down this line. Oh, hang on. A new governor general. Oh, okay. 
I think there's a focus for it. No, there is, but I can't actually do it. See, look. I gotta have national populists in charge, right? So I just, I just can't do it. I guess, I guess it must be the 1939 elections. That makes sense. Which is nice, because then this country tw changes twice, which is pretty fucking nuts. Alright. William Birdwood's ch uh, tenor as Governor General saw a vast expansion of the powers available at the position, which he used to maintain in, uh, order in Oceania at the expense of democracy and civil liberties. Birdwood, a British general from the Veldkrieg, imposed on, upon Australasia by the Empire, fearful of revolt. But times have changed, and the newly elected government could use this opportunity to replace him with a native Australasian. Whilst this move would be popular with many, many of others have suggested a more opportunity ex advice to exist. Eh. An opportunity invites to invite a member of the royal family to assume the role, and thus put Australasia more firmly within the sphere of the Empire and our fellow Entente allies. What do we want to do? I kind of like the idea of getting a royal family in, because then we can go, um... That's more like towards the guard. I feel, I feel like, uh... I feel like we go royal family. Do a couple of ISP. I've done that before, dude. Where's the World Conquest Party? Aussie General, Royal Fam? Let's get the Royals in. Alright. Who we got? Who we got? Whoa, fucking what is this? What is this guy? RHH Prince George. Kinda want an Australian now. I kinda want an Australian. Kinda wanted an Australian. God, this one's just not that great. Man, a lot of the stuff is based off the 1939 elections. Holy shit. Um, question of the unions, suppress the Cindy's. I we're gonna have two fucking trees by the time of this. Reload. It's the one from the King's Speech. Oh wait, is it? Oh. Nah, I'm not reloading. Try to elect Saxon Hale. Look, I wish. I wish. I don't know who the Aussie was, but I doubt he's Saxon Hale. Um, look, what do we gonna go down? All of this stuff. I can't actually go past like this line until I get 1939. I'm not reloading. We'll be fine. We'll deal with Mr. Stutter, alright? He was in Dunkirk and the Darkest... No, he was in Darkest Hour, sorry. He'll do fine. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get the question of the unions, I guess. And we'll suppress the Cindy scum. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then we'll go down the whole, uh, economy tree. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like an excellent idea. A maximum British at the same time playthrough. I mean, look, we gotta retake him. Oh no, the Cindy march! Oh no! Responding to the election results, which the Labour movement claims were rigged against their candidates, radicals supported by the Australasian Council of Trade Unions have held an illegal march in several of Australasia's cities today. They were protesting the continued suppression of unions. Several of the marches ended in clashes with both police and local paramilitary groups. All the marches were successfully dispersed, but the leaders have sworn they will continue to resist the new government, and that without freedom, the Australasian Confederation cannot truly call itself a democracy. If you cut ties with the Empire, Nat Pop Guards can do a coup. So how do I do that? My troops are all in Afghanistan. Yeah, so they are. Oh, they, they can they can be fine over there. Look, they'll just practice. Actually, if there is a Cindy coup coming, I probably wanna I probably wanna bring them home, don't I? <laughs> it's it's free. You can just sail around. It's it's nice in the pre-war era where you can just sail everywhere, nice and free. You never have to worry. Just sailing around, having a good time. Paramilitary just call them rebels. They're not. No, paramilitary was the uh, what's called the uh, the Imperial Force veterans. They're the paramilitary. Skip equipping our shit. Oh, the Cattle King. What is this? Leading Australian writer Ian Idris uh, today published his latest novel, The Cattle King. It follows the life of recently deceased Sir Sidney Kidman, a hey, an entrepreneur and pastoralist who owned or co-owned large areas of Australia in his lifetime. Kidman became widely popular due to his support of the government in the Veldkrieg and charitable organisations. This book looks to be set to be Aust Australasia's bestseller for 1936, and there are draw uh, many are drawing parallels between Kidman and the exiled White Rajar, Charles Vernier Brooke. Which is solely to boost Brooks' popularity. Who the fuck is this guy? I'm confused. Is we uploaded to YouTube? I mean, probably. It's actually a really good run. I'm, I'm really enjoying this run, so I'm, I probably will do. God. Dehydrated by commies. <laughs> Look, alright. Look at all this. This is the commie influence. This is where we stuck all the Melbourne commune once they, uh, once they rose up. You can see them just bringing in the water. Ah, uh, disgusting. The Mark click declares war on Mongolia. Hang on, here we go. Question of the unions. Okay. In the aftermath of the Melbourne Commune and the Revolution of 1925, trade unions were made illegal. 
While many continued to operate underground alongside the Australasian Labour Party, they were suppressed by the expanded police and military districts as well as the Australasian Guard. We may be skeptical of their ideology, the continued d draconian enforcement of Birdwood's policies will undoubtedly be an unpopular move, so we must consider whether to legalize these unions and seek a compromise with their leaders. Hmm. Suppress them! Yes! Yes! Suppress the Cindy's! Perfect. Stick him in Uluru!